Welcome to Alan Bradley PLC's tutorials. In this lesson, we will see what are math instructions, which can be divided into two sets, the first one is basic functions, such as addition, divide, and so on. Another is number system conversion. For example, the TOD instruction converts an integer number, to its BCD form. BCD is an abbreviation of binary coded decimal. Finally, we'll do a simple project, like previous videos. My name is Syed Reza, and before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let's start. Click on the compute slash math. These are basic functions. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square root, negate, and the three last instructions are used to convert a number to its BCD form and gray code. Let me explain the division instruction, other basic function can be used similarly. First, I'm going to insert a rung and a normally open contact. Now, let's insert a division instruction. I use the first digital input address for this contact, it will be used to activate or inactive the inserted division instruction. This instruction takes two numbers and divides the first by the second. Then it stores the result in the third address. It can take integer and also floating numbers. Let's use integer numbers which are stores in this data file. And 7 integer. The division instruction calculates this mathematical relation. Let's consider initial values or offset for the used integer addresses. Based on these numbers, it's expected the result will be 5 and stored on the N7 colon 2 address. Let me compile, save, and then open the program with Arslogix Emulate 500, to test it on my computer. As you see, the Arslink software has detected my virtual station which has been created with Arslogix Emulate 500 software. So, I can test the program on my computer. Well, I need to select the run mode for my processor. As you see, the third address has its initial values, 0. When I activate the division, its value changed to 5. Now let's change the second number to 3. We know the exact result is 3.333, but the program result is 3. Why? Because I have used an integer address to store the result. It only stores the integer part, 
not the decimal part. To solve this problem, I must use an address memory of the float data file. Let's load and test the program again. Well, I must select the run mode. As you see, the program has calculated the correct result. Let's change the second number to zero. As you know, in mathematics, division by zero is not defined, so the CPU detects this fault, and also it's stopped. I can click on the status data file and click on the error tab. Here I can see detected errors and also related messages which can help me why an error has occurred. Well, let's solve this error. So, the status data file shows us some information about the program, processor, scan time, and also errors that have been detected by the processor. As you see, now, there isn't any error. All right. Other basic math instruction works similarly. For example, the addition, add two numbers together, and store its result in another address. The SQR instruction computes the square root of a positive number. The negate instruction inverse its number sign. Now, let me explain the TOD instruction and what is the BCD standard. Let's test it with a simple example. This instruction takes a number and converts that to its BCD form. All right, here is an error. I cannot use a constant number for this instruction. So, let's use an address of the integer data file. As you see, the error has been solved. All right, the inserted instruction is activated. As you see, the source and dest value are equal. Both of them are 15. But what is their difference? Also, if you open the integer data file, you will see the number 21 instead of 15. Why? Let's look at the binary from of these number. Well, this is the binary form of the number 15. But this is the BCD form of the inserted number. The BCD form uses 4 bits to show each number. Let me explain the BCD code. Consider number 62. This is its binary form. Here I can't detect number 6 and 2. 
the BCD form is another way to store numbers in PLC memory. In this way, 4 bits are used to store each number. The BCD standard is usually used to display numbers. Because in this example, numbers 6 and 2 are stored separately. A 7 segment with a simple decoder, can be used to show number 2. Based on the inserted 4 bits, the BCD to 7 segment decoder decides which segment must be on, to show number 2, or other numbers from 0 to 9. Similarly 2 7 segment can be used to display number 62. Alright, the TOD converts a binary number to its BCD form. Similarly, the FRD works inversely. It converts a number from its BCD form to binary. Also, here is another instruction. It converts a number to its gray code. The gray code is another way to store numbers. This table shows some standard ways to show numbers. You know what are binary and hexadecimal standards. Also, we have explained the BCD form. The main feature of the gray code is that there is only one bit difference for both consecutive numbers. Alright, let's do a simple project. First, remember the previous parking lot project and its program. Suppose there is another entry gate. So, we must use another up counter, and also add its value to the first up counter. Try to do this project by yourself. Let me define another project. I want to convert Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit. This is the written program, based on these conditions. First, suppose an analog input indicates Celsius temperature. In this example, its value is 60. Then, the PLC program converts the Celsius temperature to Fahrenheit values. This formula was used to convert a Celsius value to Fahrenheit. Based on the formula, the MUL instruction multiplies the temperature by 9, and stores the product. 540, in address N7 colon 0. Next, the DIV instruction divides 5 into the 540, and stores the answer, 108, in address N7 colon 1. Then, the add instruction adds 32, to the values of 108, and stores sum, 140, in address N7 colon 2. Finally, the PLC program converts the Fahrenheit value to its BCD form, to show its value with three seven segments. Alright, I want to test the explained program on my computer, like previous simulations. Open the input data table. Let's change the analog input value, which shows the Celsius temperature. Now, let me open the output data table. As you see, the program result is 77, and this output is its BCD form. Let's change the Celsius temperature. Its equivalent Fahrenheit value is 126. Okay, we got to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, we will see what are shift and sequencer instructions. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, 
then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.